Hello all, it's Friday, April 7, 2017. Time for Bipolar Opposites. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Coven, and I'm going to guide you to investigate the article, 11-year-old boy kills himself as their alleged social media prank, and other child is charged, by Chris Harris from People, posted April 6, 2017. The account reads as follows. Police say criminal charges have been brought against a juvenile in Michigan after an 11-year-old boy killed himself who his mother, calls, mother claims was a social media prank. Authorities in Marquette, Michigan, confirm that charges of malicious use of a telecommunication services and using a computer to make a crime have been brought against an unidentified juvenile as a boy who was found unresponsive from a suicide attempt on March 14th. Marquette police declined to identify either juvenile involved as only that the boy who died was engaged in communication with another juvenile via social media prior to the incident. However, Katrina Gross tells people it was her son Tyson Benz who tried to kill himself that March day. Though he did not die until this week. Goss claims that the charges have been brought against the girl that Tyson knew who faked her own suicide on social media as a prank and thus triggered her own son's successful attempt. Goss says the accused juvenile was Tyson's girlfriend. People attempted to Thursday to reach the girl that Goss claims had been charged was not immediately successful. Tyson's mom says the alleged juvenile allegedly faked her own suicide using various social media sites and also allegedly used social media accounts of her friends to circulate the rumor of her suicide. An hour into the prank, Tyson hung himself, his mom claims. Goss says she found on March 14th and that emergency response teams managed to resuscitate him. Machines kept Tyson alive for weeks after the suicide attempt, but he died in the hospital in Ann Arbor, Michigan on Tuesday. We had to let him pass on, Goss says. He was severely brain damaged and doctors told us he would never recuperate. That wasn't even really him anymore. I was at his bedside for three weeks. We are utterly devastated and we will never get over it. He was amazing, an amazing athlete, who was super fun and had a great sense of humor. He was extremely social. The whole community is upset. Goss alleges that her son contacted the girl's friends, expressing himself to suicide, but she allegedly kept up the ruse. She had nothing to contact me or the authorities, Goss tells people. I truly don't know what the point of this prank was. I didn't even know it was supposed to be funny, especially if she cared about him at all. I'm not sure how that can be a joke. She must have severe psychological issues to go forward with something like that and to keep the joke going, even after he told he was going to kill himself. Goss is Tyson will be married next week, following services scheduled for Tuesday. She said she was trying to get together for other sons, ages 10 and 14. One of the girls who, complained, who claimed she's responsible, Goss says, she's intelligent enough to know right from wrong. Goss says for months, she tried reaching out to the girl's father, and several Father and aunt several times, asking that she cease all communication with her son. But they blew it off, she claims. He was 11. Little kids don't need to worry about that stuff, Goss said. These kids don't even know what they're doing is online and it's real. They don't comprehend the magnitude of their words or how that case can impact other people. Police need to, parents need to monitor their children's online activities. So things like this don't happen. A GoFundMe campaign for Tyson's medical expenses that has thus far raised over thirty thousand dollars. All right, I'm not going to make this about me, even though I was heavily bullied in school. I will to say that this joke was sick and far from funny. I mean, Tyson loved that girl so much that all of life without her was just so unthinkable he can bear it and kill himself so he wouldn't have to have to. It could, it could be other than the outside. I mean, she's a horrible person to do this. 
I hope Tyson's death haunts her for as long as she lives. It's just awful. Alright, I ask you to join the discussion. Email me at bipolaropposites119 at yahoo.com with questions, comments, and you want on the show, I'll cover future episodes if I ask you not to do politics. Next, we got an unscripted segment, and also a request from a fan. So keep watching, as always, Tim Cobbin, out. <laughs>